A rain-free, hot summer weekend helped keep campers dry and happy at the 17th annual Basin Bluegrass Festival. 18 years ago, a group of friends spawned the idea to host a festival here in Brandon after traveling to other festivals around New England. We went to festivals for a year and spread the word around and asked questions before we started this. My husband and I did especially. Um, I guess you guys went a couple times. I did. Um, and so, you know, we passed out information and, and told people. And the first year we did this, we had 900 people. We doubled the second and third year. Then we started leveling off. Right now we get up to 500 camping units for the weekend. If the weather is good, like on Saturday, we'll have 600 day people. The popular event now draws bands from all around the country. Linda had come and saw us perform at another uh, event and uh, she liked this and, and said, come on down and play. And so that's why we're here today. Yeah, still got going. This bluegrass band is quite unique. Well, me and Larry have played together for about 20 years, and we've always loved playing bluegrass, and uh, so we were up to a festival a couple of years ago, and we decided, well, see if we can put something together, and we searched around, and uh, my, my next door neighbor said, I know this guy, Alan Gratton, and uh, he plays, so he, he, he we interviewed, uh, we had him come up for a tryout, and uh, he was pretty good. We liked him, and, and uh, we're all a little older, so that's kind of nice. But the, the weird thing about that was that he said he had some relatives up in Waterville, and I grew up in Belvedere, and, and uh, he says, well, I have an aunt and uncle that live there. And I said, well, I'd have one, an aunt and uncle that live in Waterville, and come to find out we both have the same aunt and uncle. That's pretty, pretty weird, so we think it's kind of faded for getting Alan. A short time later, Bob and Larry, the other two guys in the band, discovered they were related as well. Some bands came to the festival for the camaraderie, others for the exposure, and some have their own reasons. <laughs> I mostly got into bluegrass uh, for the money and, and the girls. You're making so much money. <laughs> yeah, it's so easy to get rich, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Joking aside, most of the mandolin and banjo playing musicians here say it's a blast to sit around the fire at night, strumming their instruments next to spectators who just came to listen. First-time festival goer Christine loved the late-night music put on by campers but says the bands performing on stage were a little more impressive. I think it's amazing. Everybody's really nice. It's a good vibe. Beautiful weather. We're blessed with good weather. So the musicians are amazing. Mr. Crab Apple, you're the man on the banjo. Ernie and Evelyn Hammerly are not strangers to bluegrass festivals. They've toured the country listening to bands. We came from central New York to get here on Wednesday. But we've been living on the road in our RV for 10 years. So you, you could say we came from Florida, you could <laughs> Washington State, wherever. So we travel and we, and we do go to a lot of bluegrass festivals. We've been to festivals in 19 different states. And this is one of the finest. Yeah. Blizzard Fingers was pretty awesome. I love that lady. She's great. She's got a great voice. Um, and like I said, I don't remember the fellow's name, but I know they called him Crab Apple, and he was an awesome banjo player. The Spinney Brothers Band took a few minutes to talk with us about why bluegrass music is so intriguing. I think anybody that uh, gets exposed to bluegrass music in particular, you go to a bluegrass festival, it really, uh, I think, grabs a hold of you. There's something about the uh, the environment uh, you know that surrounds you at a bluegrass festival that that really makes you love the music and then for us um, you know we decided to, to form a band and then uh, as you I guess further your your music on and start creating music it's an exciting you know form of music for us we love playing the, the music we love going back to the old school days and, and digging up some of the old traditional songs and then creating our own music as well despite the name only two of the members in the Spinney Brothers band are related just the two brothers, but this guy, he's been in the band for 18 years, so he, we consider him a brother from another, from mother. another mother. Yeah, he's the illegitimate. Illegitimate. 
illegitimate brother. Yeah. Sorry, Mama. <laughs> The festival ended with a special tribute to one of the musicians who's played in all 17 Basin Bluegrass festivals in Brandon. Fellow musicians came on stage together for a band tribute calling themselves Friends of Smokey. Smokey Green was recently diagnosed with throat and lung cancer, but was able to make it on the stage for the final two songs. 